Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial guys, we are going through the grade 12 mathematics literacy paper 1 that was written in November 2021. On this video tutorial guys, we are going to be focusing on question 1.3 and question 1.3 guys is data handling, okay? So before we get started with this video tutorial guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a new video tutorial guys. We are going through the whole paper. So please make sure that you have clicked on that notification bell. And also don't forget to click on that like button, right? Because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks okay guys so without any further ado let's get started with today's video tutorial question 1.3 the following questions were taken from a company's information sheet how many hours so this is basically questions that are taken from a company's information sheet right and these are the questions that were basically um asked right a how many hours per day do you spend reading b how many books have you read in the last 16 weeks c how many books have you bought in the last three months d were the books you bought hard copies or soft copies E, do you believe that you should pay 15% VAT on book prices? So study the information above and answer the questions that follow. Question 1.3.1. Identify the data collection instrument that was used to collect the above information. Guys, remember, like I mentioned, this question is basically um, testing your knowledge when it comes to data handling. And you guys remember, when it comes to data handling, there are three ways of collecting data, okay? Okay, the first way is through observation, the second through interviews, or the third through questionnaires, right? So it's either observation, interviews or questionnaires so which category right do the following questions or does the following information fall under right this is definitely not observations because they are asking questions how many hours per day do you spend reading this is a question right how many books have you read in the last 16 weeks right it's a question right so therefore guys identify the data collection instrument is this an observation was this an interview was this a questionnaire right so guys we can see here that this was most definitely either a survey or a questionnaire or an interview right so any of those answers will be accepted okay. so you can either say this is a survey or it's a questionnaire or it's an interview any of those answers will be accepted i'm going to say it's a question now okay right let's go to question 1.3.2 name the next step in the data collect uh in the data cycle after the instrument has been completed and collected right so guys we said the first step is obviously observing or doing interviews or doing surveys or doing questionnaires right so then what is the next step after you've done those questionnaires or surveys or interviews what do we do okay in this case once you've conducted your survey or your questionnaire the next step is to guys is to classify or to organize your data right you've got your questionnaire you've got the responses that people gave you and now you need to basically organize your data it's you either put it in categories you either put it in frequency tables you either put it in your your bar graphs right you basically need to organize your data right so organizing data uh, by organizing data you can organize your data by putting it in frequency tables by putting it in a bar graph by putting it in the the data that you've collected in a pie chart by putting the data that you've collected in a histogram by putting it in a line graph you basically organize your data in the best way 
that fits the type of data that you are dealing with, right? So for question 1.3.2, right? Name the next step in the data cycle after the instrument has been completed and collected, guys. The answer is that you need to obviously classify and organize your data. All right, question 1.3.2. Question 1.3.3, state whether the choices given for question D represent categorical or numerical data, right? Guys, you know how it is, right? Let's first start off by defining what categorical data is, okay? Guys, categorical data is data that can be put in two groups, right? This data does not use numbers, okay? It does not use numbers, right? For example, gender can be put into groups, eye color, right? So people that have green, uh, brown, black, um, blue eye colors, right? The type of jobs, clerical, doctors, teachers, engineers, right? So that is car that is categorical data, right? So the data that can be put into groups. And what, what is numerical data, guys? Numerical data is data that consists of numbers, right? For example, how many dogs were in the park? You'll say 10 dogs. How many girls attend Germiston High School? You'll say, for example, 500 girls, right? So that is numerical data. Okay, so that is the difference between categorical data and numerical data. Okay, so we said that categorical data is data. Okay, guys, so we said categorical data is data that can be put into groups, right? E.g., what is your eye color? Like a question like, what is your eye color, right? So people will say, my eye color is brown, my eye color is black, my eye color is yellow, you know? <laughs> right so those are the different kinds of eye colors that you you can get so this is data that can be put into groups and numerical data this is data that consists of numbers for example how many girls go to Germiston High or how many boys go to Sandwood High or how many um what are the total number of learners that are in grades 12 in Boxburg High right so this is numerical data okay so then now that we've basically explained what categorical data is and we've basically explained what numerical data is right we need to state whether the choices given for question D represent categorical or numerical data before i forget guys categoric um categorical data can also be called qualitative qualitative data right can also be called qualitative data and numerical data can also be called quantity quantity quantitative data because we're dealing with quantities of something okay how much of something do we have so that is also the different, um, that is also how we can also call numerical data. Numerical data can also be quantitative data and categorical data can also be called qualitative data. All right, guys, cool stuff. So now let's go back to the question. State whether the choices given for question D represents categorical or numerical data. So let's have a look at our question D. Question D says, were the books you bought hard copies or soft copies? So is this an example of categorical data or numerical data? Okay, the answer is categorical data data why are we saying categorical data guys because it didn't say how many um hard copies did you buy or how many hard or soft copies did you buy no okay it says were the books you bought hard or soft copies right so the the type of books have been divided into two groups which is hard copies or soft copies divided into two groups and that is two categories, right? Therefore, it is categorical data, okay? It is gonna be numerical data if they said, how many hard copies or soft copies did you buy, for example? That was gonna be an example of numerical data. Okay, guys, and then let's have a look at the last, um, second last question, question 1.3.4, write down the acronym VAT in full, right? This one is nice and easy, guys. 
right? In other words, acronym, what is VAT short for, right? So VAT stands for value added tax. Okay, so you can just write it as one word, guys. Value added tax. Cool stuff. Okay. And the last question, give an example of a business that will that will that will find the above data in useful. So what kind of a business would find this kind of data useful, right? The first thing or the first type of business that came into my head was like a bookshop or a bookstore, right? I said bookstore. I think a bookstore would find this kind of data useful, right? You could also say a library, right? A library could also find that data or this kind of data useful, right? Guys, you only need to give one, right? A library can also find this kind of data useful. You can even name any bookstore that you know, okay? Like Boma Fanscake um, or whatever bookstore that you know, right? A book club can also find this type of information uh, useful. Um, yeah, you can also say a publisher, okay? But that's not the first one that came to my head. I just thought bookstore, library, book club or any name of a bookstore. All right, guys, and we are done with question 1.3. In the next video tutorial, guys, we are gonna be dealing with question two, right? And question two basically deals with finance, right? So please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, guys, and I'll see you guys on my next upload that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload at distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.